Hello, welcome back. This is Compromise Corruption. And we're going to talk to Harold Collins. It's Hatler. I'm covering Dorazio's little corruption racket. Can't imagine it's good for your health, naming names in the Marcano organization. Didn't you hear? Even cigarette smoke will kill you. So here's what I know. We've got city officials taking bribes. Blackmail. Juicy stuff. At the center of it all is a fellow named Frankie Bernard. The problem is, I don't know where he operates. Might make it kind of hard to find him. Ah, but the thing is, I hear Mr. Bernard uses debt drops. Spots where his people leave bribes for officials to pick up. And I just happen to know where they are. I also understand Frankie keeps a sweet blackmail stash of every dirty deal he's done. I'll see if I can't get one of those couriers to give up the location for your mystery man and his little blackmail stash. The people working for Bernard are just as secretive as he is. You might have to find some way to get them to talk. So you were the one causing all the ruckus at the construction yard. I got a lot of ink out of that. I've only been able to dig up one known photo of Bernard's boss, Tony D'Arazio. The guy's half recluse. Say, is that friend of yours available to talk about what you two are up to? Strictly off the record, of course. Only way to get through to people is by shocking them. Blood, tits, or scandal. It's all they'll pay attention to. Bernard has a singularly impressive ability to stay off the radar. Fucking cocksucker. 
All this corruption can't be good for the city. I mean, it's great for my byline, but terrible for the taxpayers. Be alive. Alright, let's take a look at this. Hollywood's Far Out Funny Cars, the latest rage in movies and TV. Daytona AMA style. Champions are made at American Motorcycle Association Supercycle Classic. Seven days and nights packed with road and bench racing. These boys go rain or shine. On one occasion that it rained, they didn't even delay qualifications for the downpour. Speeds were only down about 10%. Starts are made on the pit road en masse with engines running. Practice and qualifying go on all week long. Then the crowd shows up for the championship races on Saturday and Sunday. Down on his pair owns for a couple of reasons. Normally a Long Beach Triumph helps crew in frantic rebuild two hours before a big race when either gear shell tipped the valve. They made it, but debris later fouled pump. Punch tape Grand Prix. Modern engine shakedown tests have really become exotic. Here's one that can even run a race without race course. Without a race course. Atlanta 500. This was a job for Hercules. Jim Hercules Hercubeast showed a field of 44. The quickest way to go 500 miles without getting anywhere. As his Plymouth Hemi cut a notch on the championship totem pole. Well, Connor, more luxury and economy flights all over the world. Be a man, make her feel like a woman. Light up a one of a kind taste. That's it for that one. See ya.
Well, it looks like I gotta go find and steal the dead, dead drops. Slimy city officials keep the dirt in the ground by dropping bribery payments at Mark Spots. Here we go. The Gimp won't play ball. Get everything over to that hack we know at the Tribune. Tell him to print it, even the photographs. Watch your step, partner. We got eyes everywhere. Oh, no. 
I just heard something off. Hey. Oh. 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 I'm here. We appreciate the planning committee's support. Get them out now. Doesn't matter how. My crew can start next week. Call when it's done. Camelot's on the wire again. Need anything on a John Donovan now? <laughs> 